What's up guys, my name is Brandon and iOS 13 is easily one of the best software updates to come to the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch in years. And in this video, I wanted to give you guys my final review on the software and also run through some of my personal favorite features and changes that I also think you will love. So if you have an iPhone 6S or later, you will be able to download iOS 13 right now and enjoy the features I'm gonna be showing in this video. And if you still haven't downloaded iOS 13 yet, I did make a video showing you how how to install it I will leave that linked up in the cards up in the top right of the video and also down in the description below so anyways let's go ahead and dive into some of my favorite iOS 13 features and changes so the first one is haptic touch especially on older devices without pressure sensitive screens like the iPhone SE here so obviously the iPhone SE does not have a pressure sensitive screen so it would not be able to do things like 3d touch like you could on the iPhone 6s or the iPhone 7 so you were not able to get like the shortcuts to applications or peek and pop or anything like that. But now with iOS 13, we actually have haptic touch implemented into the software and it actually works on older devices like the iPhone SE, making it feel like a whole new phone. It makes it feel a lot newer than it actually is. It makes you be able to speed through processes a little bit faster just because of some of these shortcuts. And obviously haptic touch is on every device on iOS 13, but it feels especially good on the iPhone SE. Now the next feature also has to do with older devices like the iPhone SE and that is the swipe keyboard. So the swipe keyboard is also available for all devices on iOS 13, but I especially like it on smaller devices with a small screen, like the iPhone SE, the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 7. A lot of times it's very hard to type on such small keys, especially when you're used to using a big device, like I personally use the plus size phone, like I use the 10s Max, the iPhone 8 Plus, and just a lot of the bigger screens. So it's really hard to go back to one of these devices with a smaller screen and actually type on it and press those small keys so the swipe keyboard here in iOS 13 comes in handy and I find it easier and quicker to type now speaking of haptic touch we actually have more options for 3d touch and haptic touch on the control center toggle so if we go into our control center 3d touch or haptic touch right here on this platter we can actually now haptic touch on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to change our Bluetooth or Wi-Fi network straight from within the control center not having to go into settings or anything like that makes it much easier I wish there was something like this for the camera where we could just change camera settings on the fly without having to go into settings, but it is really nice that you can now do that here in iOS 13 with a simple haptic press. We also have a completely revamped share sheet here in iOS 13, and it's actually customizable, which is my favorite feature. So if we go into the share sheet here, we go down to the bottom, you can see there's a button there called edit actions. And this is where you can actually add favorites to the share sheet. So for instance, I'm in the music application. One of the actions I use a lot in the music application is both add to library and add to playlist. So I'm gonna add these to my favorites and put them at the top and maybe I don't use share a lot, so I'll just go ahead and remove that. Same with copy, I don't really use that either. So we just have add to library and add to a playlist. If you go ahead and click on done, you can see now every time you press share, those two show at the very top there. And again, that is fully customizable and those options in there do change depending on which application you're in. So I absolutely love this change. I think it's one of the most underrated features and changes here in iOS 13. Now, while we're in the music application, I do wanna show you that music is also completely revamped here in iOS 13. Absolutely love the new music application, but there's also a new feature here with the lyrics down here in the bottom left. That is actually the button to press for lyrics. And this is where you can actually get karaoke style lyrics that follow along with the song. So I'm gonna play it right here and go ahead and start right here. And you can see it will actually follow along with the song as the artist is singing it. So you can see exactly what the lyrics are as they're singing it, which is really nice. I use this feature all the time. And of course, if you wanted to just see an overview of all the lyrics, you could click the three dots right there and click view full lyrics and it will show you the full lyrics right there just not in karaoke style. So I love the music application there in iOS 13. Now, of course, I can't make this video without mentioning dark mode. So of course, dark mode, one of the best features in iOS 13. If we go to settings, display and brightness, you can see the toggle there for dark mode. You also have the option to turn it on automatically. So basically it stays light during the day and it gets dark at night. You definitely get some battery savings on OLED panels. So if you have an OLED device, definitely utilize dark mode a lot. I use it anyway, it's just because it looks a lot better in a lot of applications applications, but dark mode, definitely one of my favorite features in iOS 13 as well. You can also get to it from the control center. There is a control center toggle right there, or you could 3D touch on brightness right there, and you will see dark mode in the bottom left. Another new feature in iOS 13 that saves some time is the two finger gesture to select like emails 
or messages. So let me just show you guys, if you take two fingers and just drag down, you can see it just selects everything right there. So we're gonna cancel that and show you again. Two fingers, just swipe down, super easy. You could do it from the bottom as well. Just tap two fingers and drag and you will select all of the messages or emails or whatever it is. This saves a ton of time when I wanna delete a lot of things or just you know mark a lot of things as red. I really like this two finger gesture here in iOS 13. Now speaking of gestures, there's also a three finger gesture when typing to undo, redo, to copy, to paste, all that stuff here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and three finger tap and you will see we get a new menu right there. And right now the only thing available is to paste. But if we go ahead and copy all of this and then we three finger tap, and paste, you can see it does paste it right there. We can also undo that with a three finger swipe to the left, just like so. It's a little bit finicky right now. So there's the undo, and if you wanted to redo it, do it to the right. You can see there it did just redo it. We can just go back and forth. It is a little bit buggy, not really buggy, but it's just kind of hard to get used to, especially on a smaller screen, but you can see it working right there. You can also pinch to copy and reverse pinch to paste as well. But again, it is a little bit finicky and it is a little bit hard here on this small screen. Now, one thing you will notice right away is that Face ID is definitely faster here in iOS 13. So a lot of people talking about this just being for the iPhone 11, that is not the case. It's actually a software feature, a software enhancement face id is up to 30 percent faster than it was in ios 12 and let me tell you it is noticeable we do also have the new volume hud here in ios 13 you can see there on the left instead of taking up the full screen we have the little volume hud there on the left it does also get skinny after you press volume up or down twice definitely a lot better than the full super intrusive volume hud that used to take up the entire screen pretty much now we just need apple to fix the incoming call ui so that doesn't take up the whole screen as well but maybe we'll get that in iOS 19. Another cool feature is right here inside of settings phone. You can see there call silencing and block contacts. We now have a new feature called silence unknown callers. And if you toggle this on, it will send anybody that calls you that's not in your contacts straight to voicemail. So it's pretty good that it's not going to be intrusive. And you know, it's not going to ring. Your phone's not going to ring all the time if you got a lot of spam calls but it could also be a bad thing because what if you're waiting on a call from somebody and you don't know what number they're gonna call from and they're not in your contacts so you missed the call because you had this toggled on. So I like to keep this off, but it is a cool feature that's in there and it is gonna be beneficial for some people. You can also now use a PS4 or Xbox One controller on iPhone or iPad here in iOS 13 to play games like Fortnite. And I do this a lot on my iPad Pro here. It's really fun. I did make a dedicated video on that. I will leave that link down in the description below if you are curious. And speaking of the iPad, you can also connect a hard drive, like an external hard drive and a mouse and a keyboard to the iPad in iOS 13, which is awesome. Now, another brand new feature here in iOS 13 is inside of battery, battery health. You can see there optimized battery charging. And if you read that, it says to reduce battery aging, iPhone learns from your daily charging routine. So it can wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use it. So that's a pretty good description of what it does. But basically, it's just going to learn your habits like when when you go to sleep, when you charge your phone, and then it's going to charge to 80% instead of 100%. And then when it thinks that you're going to wake up from your sleep or, you know, when you're actually using, you're about to use their phone after not using it for a while, it will charge it up to 100%. If you want more details on that, check out my battery saving tips video where I explain it in a little bit more depth. Now, another one of my hands down favorite features in iOS 13 is the Safari download manager. So now you can actually download videos, MP3 files, PDF files, whatever you want straight from within Safari. You don't need a computer. You don't need a third party browser, like a different application or anything like that. Basically just go to wherever a download link is. So you can see here, I have a bunch of MP3 files. If I just go and tap on that, it actually asked me to either view or download that file. And once I click on download, you will see there up in the top right, I actually have a little download icon. And if I tap on that, it will show me that exact file that I just downloaded. If we click on the little magnifying glass right there, it will open it up in the files application. And from there, I could haptic press on it and I can move it, I can copy it, I could share it. You can see there, you can do all kinds of things with that file, it's now actually on your device. Now, another very useful feature here is the ability to haptic press on the scroll bar on the far right. So let me go ahead and grab it here. You will feel haptic feedback and you can actually scroll really fast down a web page, but this also works in every single application, third-party applications, native applications. You're able to scroll super fast 
to the top and the bottom of pages. This is super, super useful. I've had to use this in many situations to get down so I don't have to sit there and keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. It's really useful to have that there. Again, you just haptic press, just long press on it. You will feel the haptic feedback and then you can scroll up and down. We also finally have full page screenshot support. So if we go and take a screenshot inside of Safari, if we tap on that screenshot, you can see there, we can either do screen or full page and then it will do the full page screenshot right there. You could preview it and you could see exactly what it will save. This can be very useful so you don't have to stitch together a bunch of pictures to make a full page manually. It's now built into iOS 13. So now inside of messages, you have what's called profile. So you can see there it says, share your name and photo with this select contact. Basically, it'll just show your profile picture and you can have a name so that even if the person that you're texting doesn't have your name or a picture of you, they will have it if you enable this. So if we just tap on share right there, it will share whatever name and profile picture we have right here. So that's the name that it will show and whatever you have set as your iCloud profile picture, that is the profile picture that will show. Now, speaking of messages, you will notice throughout your time using iOS 13 that actually searching through messages is now actually usable. You can actually find messages. You can actually find certain text messages and messages from like a year ago or two years ago. You can actually find them now in iOS 13. I don't know what it was about iOS 10, iOS 11, iOS 12, but searching inside of messages never worked. I can never find what I was looking for. Like 1% of the time I would find it, but it has been greatly enhanced here in iOS 13 and it makes it a lot easier to actually find your messages. And again, this isn't really something I can demo. This is just going to be something you will find throughout the months and possibly years of using iOS 13. We also have a completely revamped photos application. I really like the new look of photos. You can see here we have photos for you, albums and search. And then we have by the years, months, days and all photos. You can see their years, months, months, days, and then all photos. Just really cool animations throughout and just a lot of stuff you could do in here. And this is also a new portrait mode effect here in iOS 13 called High Key Light Mono. And one of the other great features in iOS 13 is the ability to edit photos and you can actually change the actual like focal length. You could change the effect. You could change how harsh the effect is or how light it is. You can see there, we could change the blur and the background simply by doing that. You just have a lot of new options of editing photos. You could also edit videos like never before here in iOS 13. Just a lot of great things have come to the photos application in iOS 13. The health application is also revamped here in iOS 13. It's a lot better. You can see here, we have this new splash screen. It says, see highlights from your data, articles, app suggestions, and alerts. We also have cycle tracking for the women out there who want to track their cycle. I have heard that it's very effective and better than a lot of the third-party applications. But if we go into the health application, you can see there looks a lot better than it did in the past. And if we go to show all health data and go down here, you will see that we also have headphone audio levels, and this is gonna actually measure how you're listening to audio through like your AirPods or your Beats or whatever. It will actually use it in here, and it doesn't have to be those either. You can just use any Bluetooth headphones. It will actually monitor you know, the volume that you're listening to your music at. And also outside, like sounds, will actually tell you in decibels the reading and it will tell you if your exposure is okay or if you're listening to things too loud. It will basically just monitor your hearing and give you alerts on that. And we do also have the Find My application down there that is new in iOS 13. It's no longer called Find My iPhone, it's now just Find My. And you can see there from the splash screen, it combines the Find My Friends app and the Find My iPhone app into one. And you can see that last note there, it says offline finding, improve the chance of finding your devices even when they're not connected to the internet. And, th and that's also a new feature here in iOS 13. Basically your phone, even if it's dead, if it's completely off, it will actually use other iPhones around it as beacons and through Bluetooth and actually send you a possible location of where your device is even when it's off. So Find My is a very powerful application and definitely a big improvement over the previous Find My iPhone and Find My Friends. Now I don't use the Reminders application too much here in iOS 13, but I can't ignore how much better it looks now in iOS 13. If you go to your list here, you can see it's a lot better, looks a lot more professional than it did in the past and it's actually more usable now than some of the competitors editors that Apple had. I can actually see myself using this. I don't use it, but I can see myself using it as it continues to get better throughout the years. The mail application is also improved here in iOS 13. You have some new little gestures there, some more things you could do inside of the mail application. I use mail a lot, so I definitely love all the new features in mail as well. And overall, one of my favorite things about iOS 13 is just how fast it is, especially stock applications. They now open up pretty much instantaneously. Any stock application is going to open up super quick, and Apple claims that they open up two times faster than they did in iOS 12. And I believe it, everything is super fast. If it doesn't have to show you a prompt like that, 
everything opens up super fast here in iOS 13. And what can you not love about speed improvements? I mean, that's another big reason just to update to iOS 13. All these features are amazing and they should make you want to upgrade anyways. But if they aren't, the speed improvements, the performance improvements definitely will make you want to update. I've also noticed that my battery life is better here on iOS 13 in comparison to iOS 12.4.1, which again, can't complain about that. There's really no reason not to install iOS 13 at this point. I mean, you're getting the great new features, great battery life, great performance. Again, this is one of the best iOS releases Apple has ever had. So yeah, those are some of my personal favorite features here in iOS 13. I would say that was about 30 to 35 features, but there are plenty more. And I also made a video showing 70 plus features and another one showing 30 plus hidden features in iOS 13. So if you're curious to see more, features and more in-depth look at these features. I will have tons of videos about those features linked up in the cards and also down in the description below. And I did also make a battery saving tips video for iOS 13 that I will leave linked down in the description below. But anyways, that's enough plugging my other videos. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was a pretty long one, but those are some of my favorite features here in iOS 13. Let me know down in a comment below what your favorite feature in iOS 13 is and how you're enjoying the update so far. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.